the world expresses profound shock and horror whenever senseless violence is unleashed by the terrorists on civilized society. Depending on the intensity of the terror strike and its devastating impact, the world media give it prominence, showing the carnage that the terror strike has left in its aftermath. The coverage is generally followed up by the expression of deep sorrow for all the victims who were brutally killed or maimed by the terrorists. Scores of leaders across the world, in unison, condemn the ghastly attacks on unarmed innocent people. This huge wave of sympathy brings the world together to reiterate their unified resolve to fight and eliminate the global terror network. But the question remains, has the civilized world deployed enough resources at the trouble spots of the world to achieve its cherished objective of either eliminating or at least containing on ground the terrorists who are operating and terrorizing the people all over the world. During the past decade we have witnessed a dramatic transformation in the nature and uses of terrorism. In the 70s it was often repeated Terrorists want a lot of people watching, not a lot of people dead. Today it is more accurate to say that terrorists want a lot of people dead and even more people crippled by fear and grief as witnessed during 9-11 terrorist strikes across the United States. A major strategic intent of modern terrorists is to use large-scale physical attacks to cause stress in the general population. These changes in terrorist strategy have made it clear that we need better psychological and social responses to terrorism as the world witnessed during the 2004 terrorist attack in Madrid, the terrorist attack in London in 2005, 2008 in Mumbai and in 2010 in Moscow.